In one corner, we have Mad Max Heidegger for Oast Christian. In the other, we have Ryan Machine Gun Murphy. The last time these two teams met, both scored over 30 points. And this time, it looked like more of the same. Murphy got started early, and then Heidegger came right back driving to the basket in the first quarter. Murphy had 15 in the first frame as he was unconscious from all over the court. Beyond the arc, yeah. How about another one, Ryan? Thank you. But what about Heidegger? Second half, Heidegger heated up. Three-pointer and the foul. And then Heidegger gets the rebound, goes coast to coast by himself for the layup. Murphy had an answer as he got to the basket and fought for not one, not two, but three offensive rebounds on that putback. And hiding on the next possession, right back to the basket. The game was tied at 64 at this point. But there was more to it than just these two guys. Murphy found Josh Ringler in the corner for this three-pointer. And then Coley Parkinson gets the tough rebound and put back. Parkinson also added the free throw that put Oaks Tristan ahead 70-69 as a football player shows he's a little bit of a hooper as well. With eight seconds left, Murphy's at the line for Calabasas, misses the front end of a one and one, hiding gets fouled, makes the first to put Ostrichen up two, then makes the second to put Ostrichen up three. Calabasas has one last chance. Josh Ringler with the ball, puts up a three pointer that's short, and Ostrichen gets revenge, winning 72 69 to remain a game behind Calabasas in league play. Heidegger finished with 38 points. Murphy had 37. You have two great players like that going at it. You need someone else to step up in the, at the, in the end of the stretch because uh, they're going to start doubling them and then they need someone else to step up. So I stepped up and got fouled off the ball and shot a big free throw. Obviously, that wasn't just my free throw that won us the game, but it was definitely a big step. Yeah, I missed like one free throw the whole game. I think I was like 11 for 12 or something like that. So as soon as I went to the line, I knew I knew I was confident. I knew I was going to make both. Man, after like the first first couple minutes, I look up and like kind of in my head, I had like a mental counter, of, like kind of how both of us were going. And I'd see that he had like around 16, and they're like 20, and I'd have like 14 of our like 20 also. So once it got to that point, I knew it was going to be like a back and forth battle between us. But um, I'm just happy we got the win, no matter what.